Oif. There's a lot of wrath on the square, there's no doubt about that. It's the, um, it's the bread and butter of these things, isn't it, really? And when it comes to fatherly fury, one man stands out above all the rest. I think, uh, obviously, Phil has been a, a very interesting dad with the, um, the dealing with his son. What's that supposed to mean, eh? Phil is a very, very angry man, and we're very fortunate in having an actor in Steve McFadden who does angry very well indeed. Violence never solved anything. I don't know about that. Phil, as a dad, is useless. I can't think of a worse or a more deplorable role model as a father than Phil Mitchell. Not recommended. Ask Ben. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna do what my old man would have done to me. I'm gonna turn his backside, that's what I'm gonna do. He is a bully, a thug. What have you done? I couldn't put it together, it wouldn't go. Well, you've totally ruined it now, haven't you? All in all, he's a terrible dad. Who do you think you are? When he goes nose to nose with you, my God, that's gonna send your heart rate leaping. Do you know what, Phil? You should write a book. Child abuse by Philip. Why don't you shut your mouth, Phil? Oh, eh? yeah, go on, do what you always do, hit him. Thanks, love. But where does all this anger come from? Perhaps Charlie Brooks knows. Phil is brought up in a very specific way by his own father and kind of thinks that that's the right way to be, sort of by dragging him around and giving him a bit of a hiding. He finds it acceptable because that's how his father treated him. Ben certainly takes the brunt of his dad's anger. Come on, stand up, be a man, and take it. Ben is always trying to please Phil, and it must be absolutely horrendous for him who, to have a father like Phil. In fact, father and son could not be more different if they tried. Ben liked Billy Elliot and musicals, and probably Liza Minnelli. He was always going to be um, the complete opposite of, of Phil. He was going to be slightly effeminate. You know, into the dancing and the acting and whatnot, just to make him appear everything that Phil isn't, basically. No, oh, that's not good. He's a boy. You got him dressed up like some drag show Christmas dinner, dancing around like a proper Nancy. That's like the antichrist, isn't it, for Phil? So he didn't take too kindly to any of that. Are you ashamed of this? Oh, I'm not ashamed of you. Just you need to stand up yourself a bit more. That's all. So that's exactly what Ben did. But perhaps it wasn't the best advice because he ended up in a juvenile detention centre. And sentence you to a 15-month detention and training order. Ben. Who knows what goes on in those places, but when Ben emerged, he looked like a completely different boy. I don't know what happened to you inside that prison, but after time, I don't recognise you anymore. Ben has changed to an extent to please his dad. Just Your son is a vicious bully. Shirley. No, you won't. Well, he's my son, isn't he? Yeah. And he's proving that all right. The lashing out and the and the attacks, that's, that's, that's what he's seen all his life growing up. Like, it's, it's, it's what he's seen his dad do. Phil is a very manly, sort of, hands-on guy. And um, maybe he tries to emulate that for a bit. It's like what you always say, isn't it? Actions speak louder than words. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I suppose Phil gets aggro about Ben being a newfound pain in the bum, but I think he probably deep down likes it because he's starting to get the thug son he wanted. You little beauty. <laughs> Come here. For me, what's at the heart of Phil is a man who is desperate to be a good father. <laughs> but don't you think it's a bit late to start playing father and son? I'm not. Playing, anyway. The fact that he is so desperate to, to reach out to his son but doesn't quite have the words to do so, that's what makes that relationship so interesting. You're just some bloke that got my mum pregnant. You are my son. Come on. Hit me then. Because um, that's what Mitchell and Dad's doing, it. While Phil may have uncovered the fighter in Ben, he's still yet to come to terms with the lover. I'm sorry. 
Phil is about as unreconstructed a, a, a man as it's possible to, to be. And so when his, when his son Ben admits that he kissed a boy, shock horror, um, I don't think it is much of a surprise to Phil. Actually, he's probably been dreading this news for, for many years. Uh, but it's still not something he particularly wants to hear. And how Phil reacts really kicks off the next big story for the Mitchells. It's a conversation. <laughs> This arc that we're writing for Ben is a long one, and he will learn wrath from Phil. Wrath is just one of the many sins you can learn from your father. 